LeBeau isn't new. Didn't it come out like six years ago? No, 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 that was just LeBeau Mall. Then what's this? Just LeBeau in a mall form factor? Good job, Jean-Paul Gaultier. Way to keep things nice and simple. Welcome to the best smelling channel on YouTube. I'm James from J Royal. Welcome. On a fragrance channel like mine, you sometimes talk about fragrances all the time. I'm usually a big fan of lists, and so are you guys, based on my analytics. But every so often, I like to take a deeper dive into one fragrance in particular. And today is one of those days, because I want to royally review the 2019 men's release Le Beau by Jean-Paul Gaultier. I always have a blasty blast talking about the design on these JPGs, and so did my sister when we battled a bunch of them off in the video up in the cards. Anything related to the Le Mal line of fragrances tend to feature and showcase a male torso, but some of their newer fragrances, namely this one and the Parfum, have a more futuristic, geometric design. A lot of sharp cuts rather than rounded edges. And this makes sense to me because Le Beau, as a fragrance, is quite modern. Sounded a bit like walk-in. Le Beau, as a fragrance, calling a fragrance modern can be interpreted as a good thing, but also a pretty not good thing. But more on that later. With all of the redundant Le Mal flankers circulating around, I had no idea what to expect with Le Beau. Would this smell like the original? Or maybe the aforementioned Essence de Parfum? Or maybe it's Le Beau Mall rebottled, which would be a huge bummer. Thankfully, it seems to be none of those things because Le Beau is a three note fragrance that was created by two perfumes Sonia Constant, Constant, and Quentin Biche. Yo, bis! I don't actually have to bleep that one out because I'm not actually saying bis except for just then. So I'm guessing this fragrance was created by Sonia contributing the coconut, and then we had Quentin over here just tossing in some tonka bean, and then the bergamot just showed up randomly like it does in every damn fragrance. I'm guessing their approach here was less is more type of vibe, and although there's just three listed notes, and it is pretty straightforward, the way they interact give the illusion of added vanilla and some of that signature Le Mal lavender. The coconut is really the cool part of Le Beau, or at least it takes it from being a tonka bean snooze fest to a more poor man or malls Virgin Island water and a little bit of amorous by MFK. There's no shame in being poor or thrifty for that matter. And this bad boy, should be on discounter soon, so that's a good thing. Although it's classified as a woody aromatic fragrance, there's not a ton that's woody or aromatic about it. Maybe the coconut is a tad on the woodier side of things, but overall to me, I just classify it as a somewhat beach friendly sweet fragrance that is likable in the exact same way that the latest Bath and Body Works hand soap is. Considering how sophisticated the bottle design is, the fragrance itself is pretty simple. Once you get past the novelty of smelling a bit tropical, Le Beau begins to lose a bit of its luster as the dry down just gets dominated by Tonka. And Tonka has become such an overused and boring fragrance note. The lasting power on my skin is pretty solid, but because it smells closer to a body lotion rather than perfume or a fragrance, you don't really feel like it's pushing out for the world to smell. And not unlike another modern fragrance release, Amen Ultimate, it performs well, but kind of politely. Now here's where I get into the futuristic aspect of this fragrance. To me, it looks like the designer world has been trending towards softer projecting fragrances. This doesn't have no projection, but it's no Amen original. You can blame the companies themselves for perhaps cutting corners and costs at the expense of overall fragrance quality, but I just think it's a sign of the times. More and more environments are becoming fragrance-free. Guys, can you believe it? Gyms 
are becoming fragrance free, y'all. What a world we live in. What do you mean I can't wear 10 sprays of Aventus on the Stairmaster? The future is coming, guys, as scary as it is. With LeBeau, it wasn't even the projection that was really bumming me out. The smell itself got boring fast. It left me with a very strong first impression because I realized it didn't smell like LeBeau Mall. Amazing news. But then I found myself wearing this less and less and less. I can't even say why, it's just what happened. To be honest, I'm not sure I can wholeheartedly recommend this one to all of you because I just wasn't a huge fan of it, especially not for retail price. Wait, what? Hey, like, hey, take it easy, man. Like, I was just giving my opinion. Like, it's just my opinion, right? It's no big deal, right? One hour later. The bow is a fantastic fragrance that embraces change. It is versatile, wearable in all conditions, and provides a fresh alternative to the original Le Bow. The future is now, and we must all accept the evolution of the fragrance industry. What is this video appearing before me? Do not click on it. To watch a previous JRL video is to regress. Look towards the future by subscribing for future content. Resistance is futile. <laughs>